Mm -hmm. Easter freaking Sunday and look what kind of weather we got. Hot Patrol, live <laughs> at the Fargo Dome, May 7th, oh. 2022. Ooh, neato. Greta Van Fleet. Who's that? No idea. Yeah, for those of you interested, we're going to try to give you guys a good look of the Fargo Dome and the property here real quick. I did one a little bit ago during nicer weather and posted it. Yeah. But... Oh, that goes. Yeah. Sadly enough, it started off just like this. Oh. Yeah, seriously, coming in like this. <laughs> nice. Home of the bison. North Dakota State University. Umpteen time national football champions. Oh, that was slip. Hmm. Home of the Bison on Easter Sunday, 2022. And it's snowing out. As you could, you know, kind of hard not to miss that one. That was meant for the visually impaired. Across the street is more of NDSU campus. Which I think is the, uh, uh, I forget what they call it now. It used to be the, it used to be the Bison Sports Arena, under a different name now. There's talk about expanding this uh, dome. I think I've heard something about that. Which I don't get why they call it a dome. It looks more like an arena. Yeah, not a real dome in the sense of it. You know what, dude? Huh? I cannot get through this way, it's all turned up. Eh, oh well. Did you even care if we go to that other side? Nope. Yeah, for those that are interested, we've had a lot of major events in this facility. Elton John, Billy Joel, Ozzy, Garth Brooks on a few occasions. Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham at one point. And yes, he actually had a pretty good crowd here. <laughs> Never mind. I thought that was scrap metal. It's just an ashtray part of the garbage can that flew over. Yeah, makes sense. Oh yeah, I think this current facility I'm recording now is a Shield Sports Complex or something along those lines. They do the basketball games. I think I'm not sure about volleyball. I'm pretty sure they do volleyball there. I think the wrestling there as well. Not WWF. Yeah, actual college, college wrestling and high school wrestling. Yes, yeah, especially the college. And coming up in a little bit will be the, uh, somewhere in this area should be the Newman Outdoor Stadium. Off to the left, I believe. Yeah. It's and, been so long since I've kind of been back here. Oh, no kidding. I haven't been to a Red Hawks game in forever. Yeah, Biosciences Research. <sighs> There's a stadium. Yeah, there it is. Home of the FM Red Hawks. American Association of Independent Baseball currently. Some of you might actually remember the Red Hawks when they were in the Northern League. But I think a bunch of teams decided they wanted to bail out and go to the American Association and essentially the Northern League closed up.
think these are just some dorms on the left. Uh huh. But Newman Outdoor Field. I think they do um, semi tall. Yeah. yeah. But over at Red Hawk, or not Red Hawk, Newman Outdoor Stadium, it's mostly used for the college softball, college baseball, and the Red Hawks. Did you know they got a museum here at that stadium? Huh, no, I didn't. There's a stadium, or a, a museum there. Who? Roger Maris. Huh. Showing off by his uh, kind of little history of him playing baseball. Oh, wow, I did not know that. I knew there was a small section in West Acres Mall. Yeah, there's another one here. Hmm. Was not aware of that one. Yeah, it's down when you go down to go buy tickets for the different games, what have you. Yeah. It's in a room across the hall. Ah. Agricultural research building to the right. Over here, I'm not quite sure what that building is. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell you what half these buildings are. Yeah. I just know this is all part of NDSU campus. Johansson Hall. Seed development. Ah, yeah. In case you guys haven't figured it out by now, this is a NDSU is based on a agricultural type school originally and really expanded from there, but they still do a lot of agricultural stuff. Did you know NDSU actually showed up on uh, PBS? No, I didn't. I think it's called Prairie and... Prairie and Arts or some deal. Huh. Either way, the gal goes around talking about horticulture and all this other stuff. And she had one of the professors and two students on there talking about plants. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, another view of, let's see, campus over there. Bison Crossing over here. Prairie Hall. Some apartments, a lot of dorms and frat houses and whatnot. This building up here to the right. Yeah. Is sometimes where I go to get my CBD products. Oh yeah, technically a part of campus. I don't know. jump on top. Yep. But then Mellow Mood. Uh -huh. Mellow Mood is where I go sometimes to get my uh CBD products. Yeah, because they're affordable and they got some effective stuff. Lately, that's where I've been going to get it. It helps me out. Yeah, whatever works, right? I used to do Mod Canna, but they got too expensive. Good store, though. Good store and good product, but they're just too expensive. Mm. I'm going to turn this off for now. Whatever. Yeah. 